Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dude's Kitchen and Grill. I'm El Duderino and today I'm gonna to share with you a tip on how to make one of the easiest and best pulled porch you can ever make. This thing is full of flavor and it's perfect for any occasion. I know you're chomping at the bit to see this, so am I, so let's do it. Here is nine and a third pounds. Just gonna cut it open. Now make sure you use a real sharp knife for this as well. Do anything with these things. Sharp knife is gonna save your butt. You can use gloves for this if you'd like, that's cool. See, I'm already starting to get some of that fat off of there. That's fine if you wanna use gloves. If not, don't worry about it. You can always clean it. This also has a bone in it. Put that off to the side. Oh, that looks good. So what I'm doing at this point is I'm just looking for hard fat. Sometimes there's a fat cap on these things. You can cut that off. If you're going for indirect heat on a pellet grill, if you were going on a Weber kettle, then I would recommend leaving the fat cap on. See, there's your fat cap right there. Let's just kind of cut into it a little bit, take a look at it, see how deep it is. That's not too bad. But the thing is with the fat, is it's not really the kind of fat you'd want for flavor. Some people may disagree with me, and that's okay. I'm just gonna cut this stuff off though, for the most part. And the reason why I cut this off is because when it's time to start pulling the pork apart for your sandwich or whatever it is you're gonna make. It's just extra work for you. Now right along the side here is kind of a curious part of the fat. I just cut that off. Same with right through here. There we go, I'm okay with that. Eh, still. Nice chunk of something there. That was kind of a hard fat there. Okay, looking better. Let's take a look at those sides. Cut that out. right up here along the top. Just whack that out. All right, that looks pretty good to me, right there. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some mustard over this. And I'm gonna use our mustard as a binder. Now you don't have to have a binder, or you know, you could use lots of things for a binder, right? You could use water or your favorite oil as your binder. I just happen to like mustard. I'm gonna make sure to get all the sides. I know you can't see the back here or the sides that well, but I'll show you how I'm getting those. I'll do this bottom part. Make sure we get those sides again that we missed a little bit ago. That looks pretty darn good right there. So at this point, I'm just gonna put our rub down. Um, you know, you can be generous with the rub or you can just put a bunch on, that's your call, man. Pat it in there. Get that top part. looking good. Make sure you get those sides. Now I gotta tell you, your local grocery store is gonna have some good rubs. And that's how I started. And this rub here, like I said earlier, is just part of the, from the local grocery store. And it's a pretty good rub. I mean, it's not Uncle Steve's, but you know, or 
thousands of other rubs out there are really, really good, but this stuff works. Especially if you're just starting. And a lot of times when I'm out of Uncle Steve's or something, I'll go to it. Dogs are barking because they want some. That is perfect. It's time to put it on the pellet grill. All right, our pulled pork is in the smoker. I'm gonna turn it on to 180. We're gonna cook this thing until it's 165, checking it every hour to make sure that it's moist on top. We're gonna keep it moist with a dipping sauce that I'm gonna show you how to make in the next video. If you've liked what you've seen so far, please give us a thumbs up. And remember the dude abides this time with some pulled pork. Talk to you next week.